I'd like to, uh, as a former employee, talk about a bit of the history of what Google's done and very briefly about Google's own principles and how this project directly violates the very principles Google has even espoused within the UN. So I, I think I would start with uh, in early 2010, Google's co-founder, Sergey Brin, gave an interview about their recent decision to stop censoring uh, search results for the Chinese government. He stated, quote, the hacking attacks were the straw that broke the camel's back. There were several aspects there. The attack directly on Google, which we believe was an attempt to gain access to Gmail accounts of Chinese human rights activists. But there is also a broader pattern we then discovered of simply the surveillance of human rights activists, end quote. Yet in August of this year, it became clear through public reporting that Google had secretly decided to reverse course and build a version of its search engine which would censor for and comply with the surveillance requests of the Chinese government. So I was working as a research scientist at Google at the time and like many of my colleagues was shocked by this report as it directly contradicted Google's own recently released and frequently espoused, including at the UN, AI principles. They promised that Google would not quote, design or deploy any technology whose purpose quote, contravenes widely accepted principles of human rights, end quote. So this violation uh, only became more clear over time. Uh, so employees at the company uh, discovered that one of the extensive Google constructed blacklists literally contained the terms human rights and Nobel Prize. An interface which we assume, or some of us uh, assume uh, is meant for a Chinese joint venture company was found which would pro provide a user searches based upon their phone number. And also code was found which would ensure that only Chinese government approved air quality data would be seen. Yet after numerous human rights organizations and researchers collectively voiced their concerns, Google CEO Sundar Pichai explicitly defended the censorship of basic political speech by arguing that quote, well over 99% of queries would be unaffected. Well, more than 700 current Googlers have now risked their careers by publicly standing in opposition to Dragonfly. It's time for Google to uphold its own principles and publicly end this regressive experiment. Google should not need its own Xi Tao to appreciate the gravity of its concessions. Thank you.